Hey, welcome to Gold Scratch. So I'm Alan Gold, but I'm behind the camera today, and we got a special visitor. If you watched my videos before, you've seen this gentleman. This is my good friend Tom Winkler, and Tom is not just a good friend. We do lots of stuff together, and he is kind of my consultant when I get in trouble. I call Tom because he's a tool and die maker by trade, and he put his friendship through at Atchison. Uh, engine racing machine shop, uh, a long time ago, but he's a very competent guy, he's built lots of race car engines and uh, certainly, uh, as I say, an expert, uh, somebody to get a second opinion from and information from when I kind of get into trouble myself. So Tom's going to show us today how to file fit a piston ring, subject of this video is file fitting piston rings, and just before we get to that, uh, as you can see, if you watched my previous videos, I've got two 400 12 watt sheds in progress at the same time. And they're coming along. Chasing parts is the biggest part of the problem. Uh, there's the pistons all laid out. I did all the clearancing and stuff for them. They're ready for the one engine, and there's the other for the other engine. So, just to quickly, uh, the one I'm pointing to now, the one we're file fitting on, this engine is a uh, one is small block, it's got uh, blade cap, four bolt mains, it's zero, it's 5,000 deck, it's line board and home, and it's a high end block. So it's also going to have a full rotating, cable rotating assembly that we're fitting right now. And the second one is also a 400, it's a four bolt main block, and uh, it's got uh, a brand new Eagle crankshaft. Uh, brand new steel power piston and uh, GM powder metal G connector rods that have been reconditioned with new bolts and everything. So uh, we're doing this thing right from the beginning. So we're kind of at a stage of progress because waiting for parts, you kind of have to work on doing them to keep yourself busy. So back to the subject at hand, uh, Tom's going to show us the process of file fitting and explaining why it's important and what the significance of this one is because of the special instructions that come with these, uh, these black pistons. So Tom, I'll take it away and we'll listen to you. Hi everyone. Uh, this, uh, this engine block is gonna receive the Keith black pistons. It's important to always read the instructions uh, when you open up the piston box. And it has a call out here uh, for different applications. Uh, this is uh, going to be a street and naturally aspirated engine and it calls for a ring end gap factor of six and a half thou. So if you take the uh, piston bore size, which is four inch 155, and you multiply it by six and a half thou, you'll come up with uh, 27 thou ring end gap. So right out of the packaging, uh, when, uh, when we checked the ring end gap, it would have been too tight. So. Uh, so you have to go through a process uh, of filing the ring end gaps. And so what we end up doing is, is uh, we put the ring in the bore uh, just to kind of get an idea of uh, where we're going to be and how much uh, material has to come out. So by putting the ring in the bore, we use the piston just to square the ring up inside the cylinder wall. And uh, we have a 27 thou feeler blade here and we'll just check to see if this goes in, which we can see it's tight and it is not going in. So this is kind of a guessing game at how much uh, we're gonna have to take out. And I, I typically like to sneak up on it and uh, it may take a few attempts, but uh, uh, this is the process and how the machine gets used. So this is our file end gap uh, machine with a little grinding wheel in it. As you can see, it fixtures up the ring uh, neatly. And uh, you can zero out your indicator here to also help you with how much is material is coming off the, uh, off the ring. So we'll just, uh, we'll kiss it. This is a, a trial and error effort, but you, you don't want to take too much off 
So I would rather do a couple of processes in between here just to uh, sneak up on it. So here's the piston. We'll square up the board for you. There's a ring in the board. And let's have a look to see if the still tight, but I'm definitely closer. And uh, maybe one or two more attempts and we'll, uh, we should have it, uh, we should have it done. taking about three thou off of it uh, at this point. as square as possible on the board. I can almost just get it started. I don't think there's a lot left to come out. Maybe another thou or two. to call out a 16th out 8 tenth, so that's that's exactly the way I like it right there. 26 out 8 tenths. 26 out 10 8 tenths. Good. You happy with that one, Tom? I am very happy with it. Happy the way they all turned out. They're all uh, they're all right on. Yeah, we'll, just, on. we'll just push this down the board and get it ready for the second ring. So just to explain what uh, you and Tom does because we were together often the first engine's already been done. We do the first, the top ring first, leave it in the board, and then we'll come along and do the second ring. Now, the second ring doesn't need 27 thou, it only needs the standard four thou per inch uh, diameter, which is 17, 16 or 17 thou. And then when we leave the second ring in the board, so I don't have to wonder when I go to put the rings on the pistons, the rings that are in the number eight cylinder are the ones that go on the number eight piston. So we just leave it in there. Uh, the second ring comes out first and goes at the bottom and then so it goes together nice and keeps everything in order so that's the stage we're at we've got two blocks already the pistons are already in fizz uh we're actually waiting on main bearings for one of the crankshafts right now and uh we'll get these engines together hopefully pretty soon sending a few other little parts that we need uh so as i mentioned before i'm building these engines on spec and uh, one will be a little, this one will be a little uh, higher end, a little more power and a little more expensive uh, than, than this one. But they're both good, they have all good stuff. Brand new crankshafts, brand new pistons, new rods, uh, all good parts. I've got cylinder heads, I'm gonna have to buy cylinder heads for the 
second one because he's got flat top pistons and it's next to about six foul. So to get the compression down I need cylinder heads that have about seventy five cc that don't have any in stock, so I have to figure that one out yet. But uh one thing at a time. So I wanna thank you Tom for helping me out as usual. He's always there a phone call away when I need some of the good advice or someone to bounce ideas off of and we talk almost every day. So it's always helpful to have him around and he comes to me and helps me on the dyno all the time as well. So uh hope you found that interesting. Like and subscribe is always good. Uh we love your comments and I do my best to answer them all. And uh we will keep making videos. Uh if you do that make it make all make sense and so thanks for watching Gold Scribes.